Hey, this is René and in this video I want to talk about different trading strategies, different uh, types of account management and um, in specific about two trading systems or accounts of mine. So what you see, see here in the, uh, in the background is um, a MyFX book documentation. A MyFX book is just a platform where you can connect your MetaTrader accounts to and where you can display all the trades and the track record. And you can see there are two systems here, which is uh, the first one uh, is the BM Trading Show uh, One uh, account, and it shows this yeah a little bit more spiky performance here. It it is currently around thirty six percent in profit over the last years, and the second one is um, the BM Trading Martingale Grid system, and you can see this system was started a little bit later and is already over 100% in profit and it is or it seems like this system is performing um, a lot more stable and is generating more profits without risk but this can be kind of deceiving because if you would look at this like just one glance you would say that the system at the top is by far the better system because it is it is more stable, it uh, generates more profit, and therefore has to be safer, right? But the opposite is the case, and we will have a detailed look at the at the systems now. Um, but first of all, we can have a look at the um, yeah at the at the pages or at the documentation of every system itself. So. This is the BM Trading Show account, which is the one with a spiky performance, which performed a little bit um, less than the Martingale Grid system. And um, this account trades uh, four trading strategies. They are based on range breakouts, um, like the, the morning um, range where we trade the breakout in euro, US dollar, and US dollar, Japanese yen. And there is uh, there are systems like the ATR breakout system, which trades using the AT, uh, ATR, uh, ATR indicator. There is a Donkey channel system, which uses the Donkey channel uh, indicator. And there is a parabolic SIR system, which uses the parabolic SIR indicator. So there's no, no, not a lot of magic involved. <laughs> Everything is um, based on really simple algorithms um, and yeah it is it is um, designed to generate a steady yeah a, a steady performance pretty much and as you can see here um, the the performance is there I mean it made a profit of over 30 percent which is of course of course not like um, what traders um, promise you in, in their advertisement but it is still performing um, with profits and this is what 90% of traders cannot do and uh, it is important that we have a realistic approach about these systems and you can see here this um, uh, this uh, account even has a pretty high drawdown of like 30% and um, yeah maybe you you want to look at this uh, on your own you can just search on myfxbook.com for BM trading and you should find both of these um, accounts and yeah the other one is the Martingale grid system and as I already said, this looks a lot more stable. And even if we have a look at the drawdown, you, you can see the drawdown is even less than the drawdown in the BM Trading Show account. But still, I will tell you that this strategy involves a lot more risk than the previous account here. And this is because there is a completely different approach of trading the markets with both of these systems. So first of all, as I said, here we use uh, four different systems um, in a total of five charts, and I can show it to you on the, on the server where these systems are running. So this is what I said before. This is um, the BM Trading Show account. Oh, and this is a live account. The other one is a demo account. Uh, Got to be honest here. Um, and you can see the, there are five charts where we use um, four different strategies. And the, um, wait, let me, let me go back to the MyFX book documentation. And the typical profit is, um, as we can see here, is uh, 7 euro. 
and the typical loss is 3 euro and 30 cent roughly so as you can see there are a lot of trades that make small profits and small losses and these trades generate this kind of spiky performance and on the other hand there is this martingale grid system where the average profit is a lot higher it is 22 uh, euro and the average loss is 15 euro but this is not really the important part because we should look at the extreme trades like the worst trade for the um, uh, for the for the first account made a loss of or uh, generated a loss of around 26 euro and the best trade um, made a profit of uh, 42 euro yeah i think this is it yeah and for the martingale grid system this is really really different so the best trade made a profit of 4400 euro and the worst trade made a uh, loss of 308 uh, euro oh no this is not correct because i think there's a um this is because there is a, a problem with the data by uh, on my book but let me let me look in the uh, history here we can see the the yeah the worst trade was uh, 308 as it says here and the best trade was uh, 812 but there were several trades that made a profit of 800 and something and there were lots of trades which made a huge um, uh, generated in a huge loss and this is because the approach of these accounts is completely different because this martingale grid system it trades a all or nothing approach pretty much so if we have a look at the account which is this one you can see the trades are um, built in a grid so as you can see here there is for example this was the first sell trade here and i hope that um, you can see this on the pc uh, so this was the first sell trade which started with 0 0.02 lots and this is the second sell trade which is then um, which has the double um, the, the double amount of lots which is 0 0.04 and these lot sizes increase if this series of trades um, is not going well so if if we have a sell setup here and the price continues to um, to go up then we will continuously build up more short positions or we build up a bigger short position and this is why the lot size is increasing with every single grid step here and this results in really 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 big trades so if we have a look again at the myfx book documentation here we can see the lots are sometimes as big as um, two lots uh, two dot five six lots and this is a really really big trade for a account which has or which started with ten thousand euro and if we compare this to the myfx book of the um, of the show one account which was the one that was a little bit more spiky we can have a look at the trades here and we can see all the trades have the same lot size they are all traded with 0 0.02 lots so whenever a trade fails in the in in this account it is not that big of a deal but if a big or if a huge trade in the martingale grid system runs into the into the negative um, uh, uh, numbers then this can have a really really big impact on the system and the the risk is rising exponential so if we just just imagine that we have this um, step here where we have 2.56 lots already then this would mean that the next step and as, as i demonstrated there is a grid involved so there will always be a next step if the market is not running into the trade direction so if the next step is open then it would already have a lot size of 5 dot or even 6 dot uh, 1 2 i think if i did not miscalculate so the the risk is 
increasing exponential. And um, if we have a look at the drawdown again now, we can see we already reached a drawdown of 21% uh, in this account. And this was with a lot size or a maximum lot size of 2.56. So if we imagine that we get just one or two more of these grid levels, then this would finally, or this could lead to a complete collapse of this account. And this is why even the even though this um, performance looks really neat and nice and we all want this kind of performance even though this is um yeah this this will go well in 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 most cases and in most years there might be a situation maybe in one year maybe in two years maybe tomorrow where this system may collapse because there is a high risk and um, yeah, this is pretty much just the trade that you have to make if you if you want to have a overperforming system. So whenever you want to have a really 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 good performance, you pretty much have to take the risk. And this it is not like you you cannot say this system is bad or this system is bad or this one is good this one is better. You cannot say this. This is just about what you as a trader want and what you are willing to risk for it. So you can always have a good performance. Just build a Martin grid system like this one. This is not even hard to build. I mean, you could trade it manually. You could build an um, expert advisor for this. This is really, really, really easy stuff. And you can still achieve a great performance. And um, yeah, this performance, I mean, this is not fake. I mean, this is the performance that was really generated. So it made over 100% in profit. And if this would be a live trading account, you could just take your initial deposit out of it. So you would trade risk-free pretty much. But this is still not like a, a system that will um, that is safe. Because this system, in fact, as I tried to demonstrate, is a lot riskier than this system. Because... Um, if we have a bad series of trades in this system, it might collapse. But if we have like 10 or 50 trades pretty much that do not go well in this system, we would still not be broke. So there is a huge difference. Difference. And maybe if you have a look at this performance or this, this graph of the, of the balance and the equity, you might have seen this a lot of times because these are systems that are traded and demonstrated a lot by trading gurus and websites in the internet that want to sell stuff to you. And they have accounts and they might run it on a demo or a live trading account. But if the performance looks like this, there is a 99% a 99 possibility that it is a martingale or a grid system or some kind of system that doesn't really accept losses and just wants to have the, um, the positive trades and systems that will risk pretty much the whole account for one series of trades. And again, this is not right or wrong, but some of these websites or gurus do not tell you about the risks. And there is always a huge risk involved if you have a performance like this. And yeah, so this is pretty much just a question that you have to answer for yourself. Do you want to be the trader that risks his whole account with a single series of trades, which is not right, which is not wrong, but you have to make this decision. Then you can, of course, trade systems like this one. Or if you want to be the trader that pretty much has, has a lot of or several strategies which have a fundamental idea and that will generate profits in the long term but that might not um, whoops um, give you such a stable performance as a Martingale grid system and yeah you can go of course both ways or you can have something like in between I mean there is still like the possibility to say for a Martingale grid system that you want to trade a system like this but you cut the losses after the fifth or sixth trade. I mean, this would still be a possibility and that, that would prevent the event of losing everything with a single series of trades. And 
yeah, there are always several um, account types. Just make sure that you do not fall for uh, some um, offers or some scams in the web that um, show you a performance like this without telling you what is like um, underneath the the surface. Because in a, in a lot of cases, in, in most of the cases, it is just a system like this, which can be which is like super risky. So with this said, um, yeah, just make sure that you are comfortable with your trading strategy and um, always make sure that you only risk money that you are able to lose without um, having a huge negative impact on your life. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I think we will have a look at programming again and we will write some... MetaTrader 5 programs, I think. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, just subscribe to this channel, give it a like, and we will see each other next time. Until then, have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.